Welcome to part three. This is now following along from the previous tutorial, the same piece where we had taken out some extra weight by cutting out these extra inserts. And in this video, I'm going to talk about how to uh, allow for carbon spar to run through this model and have that print. So the first thing we need to do is new sketch on the front plane. And we basically want to draw ourselves where we're going to put the carbon spar. And it has to be between one of these or in one of these down supports. So here you can see that automatically when I hover over here, this yellow square means it's going to try and find the center of this beam. I try and drag it, cannot drag because it's there. Smart dimension, this needs to be the OD of your carbon spar. And this is going to take a bit of fine tuning. So what I'd recommend doing is just extruding yourself out 10 millimeters at... If you have an 8mm carbon spar, 8mm and then 8.1 and then 8.2 and seeing which one fits the tightest is still easily clippable on. And so I was going to do 8.1 for an example. You can see the circle and all I'm going to do is surfaces. It's got to be a surface sweep, not a normal 3D uh, feature. So surface through the surface and I typically go up to vertex and then I click this top line and that means it'll just extrude this whole uh, span of this wing section. Click OK, you can see it runs through. There is this uh, model that intersects it but that should be fine. So what I'm going to do is click on the surface loft, that's the outside skin and click on this new one, hold in control click send new part okay that yes uh, I'm just gonna do top three save this as an STL and you can see this is the surface model on its own I will close that out Let's save this and this small piece insert new part this is the infill Shit. Don't click no there. And this infill, I'm going to insert that into a new part. Okay. Yes. Save that as an STL. Same folder. Yep. Now we can close out here. If it asks you to save, it doesn't matter if you click yes or no. You haven't made any changes to the actual file itself. And I'm just going to open up Cura. Right, so in Cura, come into your folder that you're working in, bring in both your parts. Again, make sure all of them match zero, 0, yep. And then select your inside infill. Come down here, per model settings, modify settings for infill of other models, slice that. And you'll see that now there's a tube for a carbon spar that nothing is printed inside. So if you just zoom that down a little bit, you can see that as it comes in, because it thinks that the surface model, this is the outside of the model and this is the inside, it won't try and put infill in here. But now you can see that you can put a carbon spar all the way through your wing and the strength that you lose by chopping into this strut is gained by the compression on the spar so this just gives you somewhere nice to house it and you can glue the spar into here and that will help glue all the different pieces of the wing together there you go 51 grams uh, four hours again you want to make sure that each model prints starts the from the very back and that it looks like it's going to print what i'd also recommend is if you're doing this is to print on a brim so that this piece doesn't go wandering depending on your adhesion of your print, how good you and reliable you trust it. You can see the same sort of thing. Comes up the whole way, empty. That's how you add a carbon spar to the uh, wing section.